A soldier's greeting to all of you fellow modelers out there. Welcome back to the channel. Today we will be building and painting Takeom's extremely new kit, and a highly anticipated one at that, their 16th scale quarter ton utility vehicle, or as everyone else likes to call them, Jeeps. Without any further ado, let's go out there onto the front lines. real quick on the G sprue the instructions for the exhaust pipe call out G37 okay so usually these sprues go in order one being at the, at the top left if, if it wants to focus left and you know the last one being at the bottom right at uh, 36 well as you can already see there is no 37 so I had to search the whole sprue and finally I found it now granted it was right next to the exhaust pipe where that was being held on the sprue but it has no marker there is no 37 anywhere that I can see and so that made it a little confusing you can get through it but Starting off, I was immediately plunged into assembling the engine. It's a beautiful engine, which has many opportunities for wiring and other things like that, which I didn't really want to do because I'm never going to display mine with, uh, with the cover open. Anyway, after assembling the back seat, I slid it into, the, into position, which was oh so satisfying. After assembling most of the lower hull um, frame... I started with priming. I used Mission Model's black primer, which I diluted way too much because it was, it was extremely wet and it beat it up a lot. You may notice I have an airbrush needle shroud off, which I know is just asking for it to bend, but I can't find a better finish with it. So anyway, I airbrushed diluted olive drab from Tamiya, which could have benefited from a few drops of X-22 clear, but it was still okay. I primed it in a stipply, squiggly motion, starting the post-shading technique before I even laid down the highlight coat. Then I sprayed a light misting of that same color over because I didn't like how dark it looked. The flat surfaces were easiest to spray and I missed a lot of spots otherwise, which doesn't matter too much because the black base coat just makes them look like a shadow. Next I'll show you how to basically weather the engine. First I took silver and then unloaded it mostly into a paper towel. Then I dry brushed the model. Now that I look back on it, it was an okay technique, but it could have benefited from a wash. Uh, so anyway, after priming all the other parts of the model, I sprayed them with the same olive drab as the frame and lightened it with buff, building up four highlight coats altogether. Again, using that squiggly, stipply, whatever you want to call it, motion. After painting everything, I peeled the mask off, only to be met with a glue stain, which sort of ruined it for me. But I was able to fix it by making some bullet holes or something, whatever you want to call it. I based the seats with khaki and lightened with buff. All of these paints are from Tamiya. While applying the highlights, I put some, um, bottom <laughs> marks, which I thought that would get the most wear. Maybe, maybe not. Just 
In preparation for decals, I sprayed X-22 clear in all the areas where I applied them. I think you're actually supposed to build up this varnish with a few thin coats, but I just unloaded it onto the model and it turned out okay. Maybe a tiny raised edge where it was, but it wasn't too bad. I applied microsol onto the model, then applied the decal over it. I applied the decal while the microsol was still wet. After that I applied more microsol to the top and waited a few minutes until it softened. Then I gently made it conform to the surface, which took many more coats of microsol, but it's besides the point. Then I flat coated the whole model with testers dull coat. The last thing to do was add mud texture to the wheels, and if there's anything I learned from building my last few models, it's that I need to work on my modifying technique. Well, as well as engine detail, proper thinner to paint ratios, and as well as many other things. I also applied dried mud, but I didn't get that on video. <laughs> well, there you go, fellow modelers. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your feedback in the comments. I greatly appreciate the criticism as I'm trying to grow my modeling techniques and skills. Thank you so much for watching.